Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Dune and I am a Premier Field Engineer with Microsoft Canada. In a previous post on TechNet, as shown here, I had written about what is Clusterware Updating, which is a new feature found in Server 2012. Uh, Clusterware Updating automates the patching process of clusters without the use of or the need of a third-party tool, and I definitely know this is a feature that many people are looking for. Today, I'll be showing you a live demo of what Clusterware Updating is, as mentioned previously in part one of my blog post, there are two modes of clusterware updating. There is the self-updating mode, which is where one of the nodes in the cluster acts as the CAU update coordinator. And there is also something called the remote updating mode, where a node outside of the cluster acts as a CAU update coordinator. The CAU update coordinator is basically the server that orchestrates the update process. In terms of the environment that I'll be using today, these are all virtual machines that are hosted on my Windows 8 desktop. One of the great features that I love about Windows 8 is that it has Hyper-V built in. So this means that I always have a lab on the go with me. In terms of the environment that we're going to be looking at for clusterware updating, I shall be utilizing three servers, one domain controller and two nodes all of which that are running server 2012. I also have a diagram to explain this. In this diagram, I have shown the, not all of the roles and features that are installed in the machines, but the main roles and features that we are concerned with. As you can see on the domain controller, we have Active Directory, Windows Server Update Services, otherwise known as WSUS. We also have the remote server administration tools installed. Uh, we also have two nodes that are part of a cluster, so we've installed the failover clustering feature and we've also installed the remote server administration tools. Today, all of the server administration will be done from the domain controller. Something important to know is that centralized server management is just one of the many features in Server 2012. Now, let's jump to the domain controller. The first thing that I'd like to do is to welcome everybody to the new Server Manager dashboard, which is found in Server 2012. This is definitely a great area because it centralizes all of the information that you need about the server and the environment. The first thing that we're going to do is to add the cluster aware updating role from the domain controller. To do this, we need to go to Tools, Cluster Aware Updating, and we need to connect to one of our clusters. As mentioned before, I already have two nodes that are part of a cluster called 2012 cluster. Let's connect. And we will go to configure cluster self updating options. Next. So now in this step, we are going to be adding the cluster where updating clustered role with self updating mode enabled to this cluster. So what this means is that we're adding the cluster we're updating role to each of the two nodes and we're also enabling the self updating mode which means that I don't have to utilize a domain controller or an outside server to run the cluster we're updating. This means that one of the nodes of the cluster can perform the cluster we're updating which is also known as the cluster we're updating orchestrator. Let's click next. This is a very interesting screen because this is where you can actually schedule the self-updating. Um, as you can see, you can schedule the self-updating daily, weekly, monthly. You can start from a specific date. You can choose a specific time of the day, day of the week, or even a specific occurrence of the day in the month. Uh, cluster where updating is very customizable to your needs and you'll further see this in advanced options. Click next. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will be using the options found in the default parameters.xml, but here's an example of where you can actually customize the cluster we're updating to your needs. Uh, a great example would be require all nodes online. Uh, this would represent that the cluster we're updating would not actually start unless all of the nodes are online and part of the cluster. Um, another example would also be node order you can change the order on which the nodes are actually updated. By default, cluster where updating starts with the node that owns the smallest number of clustered roles, then progresses to the node 
that has the second smallest number and so on. But you could manually configure the node order if you like. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll be using the, the default parameters.xml. Click on next, next, and apply. So here at this stage, um, we are now adding the cluster aware updating role within the two nodes. All right, now that it is finished, let us continue. At this stage, a great thing to look at is the Analyze Cluster Updating Readiness. This is a tool that is very similar to the cluster validation tool that is used in 2008. Um, this tool here is used to analyze the cluster to ensure that it is ready for cluster we're updating. So let's run this tool and see what kind of results that we get. This is going to check various parts of the cluster, as I, as I mentioned before, to ensure that it is ready for the cluster we're updating. Uh, for example, it's checking things such as, you know, the failover cluster must be running. It's checking the versions of the .NET framework and to ensure that PowerShell is installed. Um, it's checking that the cluster service is up and running. Um, the only warning that we have here is the machine proxy on each failover cluster node should be set to a local proxy server, but we don't need to worry about that in this demonstration. Uh, you know, for example, it's also checking the firewall rules um, and also checking that the failover cluster nodes use the same update source. In this example, we are using WSUS as our update source. With cluster aware updating, you can use various sources to obtain the updates. For example, you can use WSUS to obtain all of the updates, or you can even use a file share where you can place hot fixes to obtain the updates. As mentioned before, I will be using WSUS as my update source. So let's go take a look at WSUS. As you can see here, I have the update for Windows Server 2012, which is KB2751352. I have already approved this update for the two nodes in my 2012 failover cluster. Now let's go back to the cluster aware updating console. The first thing that we're going to do is preview updates for this cluster. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can use various sources to obtain your updates. Uh, with this plugin, the Windows Update plugin, this is what enables me to use WSUS as my update source. Um, you also see here you have this hotfix plugin. This is what would allow you to use a folder location or a file share where you could have hotfixes and use that as your update source. Now let's generate an update preview list, which is basically the updates that need to be applied to the nodes. I have already approved an update for the nodes in the cluster. So as I click this, this is going to check with WSUS for the approved updates and then check the nodes to see if these updates have been installed or not. Um, hopefully we see them as not installed as we see here. Um, so now we are aware of which updates will actually be installed. The next stage now is to actually apply the updates. For that, we're going to go to apply updates to this cluster. So as you see here, we could once again customize the updating process, but for the purposes of, of the demonstration, I'm using the default options. And now let's update. So what's interesting is behind this console, we can actually look and see live what is happening. As you see here, we have a live view of the updating process of the clusters. This is great for administrators or anyone that wants to know what is happening in the background. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I will let this run just so you can see an example of what is actually happening in the background. Right now, it is placing node 2 into maintenance mode. Uh, and just for those who want to know, maintenance mode is basically where the node is paused and no resources are able to come to that node. Uh, the node is now secluded and in a state where updates can be installed. Um, basically, the updates will now be installed uh, and a server reboot will occur if necessary. I'm going to let this continue just so you can see what actually happens 
as the nodes are being updated. What is great about cluster aware updating is that not only are you able to see the progress of what is occurring, but it also generates a report that you can use at a later time to view what actually happened during the process of the updating. As we can see, the updating completed successfully. So now let's take a look at the report that's generated. Um, you can generate a report from various dates. As you can see, I generated a few reports in the past couple of days, but let's take a look at the report from today. I'm going to export that report to the desktop and I'm going to call it test2. Save that, close, and here's the report. So, as you can see in this report, this will give you an update of what exactly happened, if there were any errors. Uh, this is really good in case if there were any issues, you can look back to see what that issues were. Um, you can also save this uh, just so you have a copy and a report that shows you know, successful updates within your environment. And there we have it. Um, I, you know, this the purpose of this video was to show you an introduction into cluster we're updating, um, and how it can make the life of the administrator to be a lot easier. Uh, no longer do you need to do updating through a manual process or utilize third-party tools. Uh, cluster we're updating is a great feature that I know the community will definitely enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, and I look forward to informing you further of the great features that are found in Server 2012.